How are you today? I'm okay. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. So before we begin, let me know about our confidentiality, which is basically you tell us anything and we won't call anyone else unless you're at harm or you're at risk of harming yourself or others. Then we have to talk to one, or there's a certain court order which, in your case, is hopefully not. Um, then we have to say something. But otherwise, everything between us is between us and between the people that we would like to see. Okay, that's good. So, why are you here? Well, I've been since I've been back um, with my injury. I haven't been you know, mm -hmm. I haven't really been in doing treatment. I thought I was doing it, but then this thing happened with my niece, and I'm staying with my cousin, you know, and uh, she has a daughter, so she's like my niece. My cousin's like my sister, and we've been very close my whole life, but she's only three, and She came up to, I was taking a nap on the couch and she came up and she tried to, you know, wake me up or touch me and I completely looked out and it was like, I, it was like I saw red and that really scared me because when I came, you know, to basically I saw a wig on her face and she was crying and, and then, you know, she really scared me because of that. So, that got me to thinking that maybe I need to reach out to get some services. Um, my cousin helped me with this information. And so basically, I just, I'm not really sure where my life is going. I had a plan um, to be a police officer um, before I went in. And that's why I was in the uh, MP, you know. And, but now with my leg situation, I'm not really sure that that's something that I can even do anymore. So I'm kind of, I feel like I'm just kind of stuck and, and it's hard for me to figure out the next step in terms. So I thought maybe somebody who, who knows all about this stuff could help give me like a little help. Well, I acknowledge the issues that you're going through and I commend you for having the strength here. I mean, it's not easy to go through what you know and you know, actually decide to stand up and get back. Yeah, it's not really in my blood to do that for help. You know, I'm self sure, but I pride myself on that. So, yeah. The more so being able to get out of your comfort zone and talk about it.
down in, they have a hospital down in Tampa. Okay. Um, they do a lot of the surgical stuff, prosthetics, things like that. So we get to contact with those people. I've heard of them, but I didn't know that's what they needed. Yeah, we could uh, get contact with those people that could get your prosthetic reason if it's necessary because they're just feeling something to see that sadly they just kind of slap one on you and kind of get you out the door. Yeah. Sadly, how things go. But if you get one customly fit for you, get as comfortable as possible, that really has no issue. So, basically, what, it, what, what is your, what are, what are you, what do you do? What I do is get you in contact with anybody that you need to get in contact with. What we are able to see specifically works for helping veterans be integrated in society. Uh -huh. And if you guys need to put on their applications that they can tell you about, we can get we can get you those applications, we can get you files, enrolled, we can put all in office, tell you where you can go. Oh, so I don't have to do all the all the legwork right. for the state, right? We help you. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. Because I really don't know where all the things are. So that would be, I think that would be, that would be pretty good, you know, so I'm ready to get it back on track a little bit. We also try to inform veterans as much as possible about all the compensation and benefits that you have. Mm -hmm. We in fact have a pamphlet right here, well, more than a pamphlet, that actually details any and all benefits and compensation that you are currently being offered and looks like there are several that you are on you in fact already have access to that you don't know you have access to. Probably right about that. They actually have a larger book over there among the agencies, but we actually have a slightly reduced version that way it's a little easier to read through a little easier to go. Well, I might need a few days to look through this though, because that's a lot of stuff. That's all that Okay. Well thank you guys for so will you will I need to like fill out some paperwork for you in order to get services from you or? You're in fact already receiving services and most likely filled out already some forms before coming here already. Mm, okay, so, so what's the next thing that I need to do? The next thing you need to do is spend the uh, next week or so reading all of the paperwork I've given you. Oh good, that's a week, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea, but so, so a week, that would be awesome. Right. Yeah, we can get you fit with a prosthetic. First there we can refit your prosthetic that way it's much more comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned you were having a, uh, an, an issue with um, your knees. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also get you in contact with the mental health services. That way they can help you get through any pain that you are actually experiencing. Yeah, I think I might need that. I never want to see her like that again. Oh, yeah, so that would be, that would be good. Uh, what did they make you do? Are they going to make you hug a tree? No, no. No trees? No, there's various methods they could use. Um, all of it doesn't involve whatever is comfortable to you. Mm -hmm. they, they won't take you too far in your comfort zone if you don't want to. It could be the other side of the that is comfortable to you. And it's not like they're going to stare you down and you know, try to light your face and ask you a bunch of questions.